Look, it's no secret at my channel that I cover a lot of leaks and rumors and all of that stuff. In fact, you could argue it's sort of a core principle at my channel. Well, we cover a lot of Nintendo news, and as we lead up to big game releases, we really get really hyped. I mean, I'll give you an example. There's a brand new trailer that just dropped for Princess Peach Showtime, and man, it looks pretty solid. It might not be everyone's cup of tea, and maybe my only concern is that I worry it's just sort of a mini game collection being touted as something more than that. I guess we'll just have to wait and see till the game comes out to understand it. But I do like the show mechanics and, and the whole concept behind the game anyways. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens with that one. But because Nintendo dropped this trailer today, a lot of people are worrying that there won't be a Nintendo Direct, which I find interesting because... Look, this game come out, comes out in two months. They weren't just going to wait for a Nintendo Direct to start marketing a game that comes out in two months, especially when alongside this game, they wanted to also mention that, hey, we're dropping some brand new Joy-Con colors that are Princess Peach themed, aka they're pink. And you're seeing them next to roses because they're coming out next month. You know, right around Valentine's Day, which, yeah, that's going to be like a really cool thing for people that have been wanting these pink Joy-Cons for a long time. So you combine this marketing plan together and you can sort of understand that, hey, this is the sort of game that probably doesn't need a Nintendo Direct. The Direct's going to have to wow people in its own way. Well, today we have a potential leak. Again, we got to call this more like a rumor for the next Nintendo Direct, just because of where it comes from. And we're not talking about the Zippos of the world or anything crazy. We're going to 4chan, and I know what you're going to say. You might be clicking off the video already. I just want to note that there is a reason for this particular thing to be covered. 4chan does have a slew of legitimate leaks. We actually got some legit Pokemon DLC leaks last year from 4chan, and obviously if we're covering a 4chan thing, which is not normal at our channel, we don't cover it often, it's because there's a specific reason. And in this case, this particular user on 4chan correctly leaked literal information on Princess Peach Showtime that wasn't known ahead of time. So we're going to go to a summary post by PC Focus over on uh, X because it's just easier to sift through. Although I did dig through the 4chan post, the original one, and went through the entire archive to find everything. We'll dig through that bit just to show you guys. But anyways, let's get into what these leaks are and not waste any more of your time. So here we go. Here's what PC Focus says. A 4chan user who correctly leaked the cowgirl and ninja segments in Princess Peach Showtime has other leaks for the upcoming Nintendo Direct. And some of this is so exciting. So the supposed new games are, and again, rumor, rumor, rumor. Fire Emblem 4 Remake releasing in May. Okay, that's somewhat believable. There's been a rumor for that for a while. Donkey Kong Country is getting a new game for its 30th anniversary. All right. Interesting. There's been a rumored Donkey Kong game for a while. Metroid Prime 2 Remastered. Don't know if it's going to be Shadow Drop, but going to be there. Grezzo Remake. Oh, this gets me excited. A Grezzo Remake of the Zelda Oracle Games. Hey. We are sort of due for another Grezzo Zelda something, so that could be a thing. That feel-good game getting localized. Famicom Detective Club returning as Nintendo Detective Club. It's going to be about five high school girls who must solve vicious crimes that they are personally involved with. Now, this is a pretty crazy rumor. We're just going to click through on a few things here to show you, like... This gave me a red flag when I first clicked it because, one, this isn't 4chan that it linked to, and Emily Rogers is actually a known insider who retired a long time ago. This person's impersonating them, but this is the actual post over on 4chan. This is actually 4chan, and when you dig through all of this, you can find all of those given leaks from the original poster. So uh, I do find this to be quite fascinating. We'll link to all of that stuff down below so you can follow the breadcrumb trail yourself and re-verify everything the same way I did. Now, again... This is a rumor, and it's not meant to be believed. But let's entertain it for a moment. Let's give it uh, some thoughts, because I think this is quite fascinating. For starters, let's just start with a Fire Emblem remake. Look, we get new Fire Emblem games or Fire Emblem remakes quite frequently. So it's a very safe and believable rumor. It coming in May could make some sense. What's interesting is that this isn't a complete direct lineup, right? Like, there's got to be stuff missing in here. Where's Luigi's Mansion 2 HD? Where's Thousand Year Door? So I don't think this is, like, the complete lineup. This is just maybe the new stuff that's going to get announced. I find it interesting, like, what would be the game that they would end it with if if this are the announcement? Let's say there's no Metroid Prime 4 or anything. 
if these are the brand new games in the show, then I just, I don't know what else to really think here. Could it be, could it be that Zelda, the Oracle games are going to be the closer? Could it be the new Donkey Kong game? That's the closer. Look, this stuff just gets me excited for the direct one because we get to talk about new game possibilities, but also just because it's just a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Let's just be honest. This is a fun thing to think about. Now, look, when it comes to the Oracle games, they're some of my favorite handheld Zelda games ever, and the idea of bringing them back is really cool. They're all, there's all, like infinite new content possibilities to do. The Oracle games were originally supposed to be a trilogy of games. Didn't really happen. There is a combined ending. How they handle that, I don't know. It's going to be pretty interesting. And then when you think about other things out there, like, look, the Famicom Detective Club thing is, is a very strange thing. Basically, Nintendo brought back Famicom Detective Club already and already re-released it on Switch, which was pretty interesting just for the history of Nintendo IP. But saying that there's going to be a new game in it, and now they're just going to call it Nintendo Detective Club, that makes a lot of sense because I know you're not tying the name of the franchise to a specific system. But I kind of find it interesting that Nintendo thought Famicom Detective Club got enough ground gain sales-wise to even make this. Probably a smaller team. Maybe there's just a lot of passion internally at Nintendo for this IP, and that's why it came back in the first place. So, I don't know. That's kind of interesting. Uh, Metro Prime 2 Remaster dropping, I find to be quite interesting. Maybe a shadow drop the way Metroid Prime Remaster was. This could set up for Metroid Prime 3 Remaster to be dropped this summer, potentially, hopefully with showing off Metroid Prime 4. They could be holding Metroid Prime 4 back, by the way, for the Nintendo Switch 2. I think one thing that's interesting about this is if these leaks are true, if this stuff is true, you know, we, we got to go in this just assuming it's not true. But if they are true, then this would be a bit of a lighter direct in general, which I think is okay. And maybe just a big sign that, hey, Nintendo's got something cooking. They're just waiting for Switch 2. Because what are the big announcements here? Uh, another remake of Fire Emblem? Another remake of Zelda games? So the only new game is what? Nintendo Detective Club and a new Donkey Kong? I mean, those are exciting announcements, don't get me wrong. And I'm sure a lot of you guys are excited for them, but... That's, those aren't big games, right? Those aren't system-selling games. And I kind of would fall in the range of what Nintendo's doing right now. A lot of their smaller, mid-tier games coming out, a lot of ports, remakes, and remasters. And honestly, it, it kind of just lines up with the fact that Nintendo likely has a new system coming out. Look, I kind of feel like if there was going to be a big game coming this year besides Pokemon for Switch, this is the directive would get announced in. It's not getting announced, at least based on these rumors. Now, these are just rumors. These are not facts. Who knows? Nintendo could bring a Direct next month and just nail us with all the goods. Also, this likely isn't a complete list of games. If it is a complete list, then, you know, a complete list of the Nintendo published games anyways. There'll, there'll be third parties and indie games. Then, yeah, okay, it's going to be a bit light. They could be ending the Direct, you know, as an example, with a Xbox port, maybe Hi-Fi Rush they think is a big deal, so they could throw that in there. But again, that's a third party, you know, offering from a first party company. So I don't know. I'm just going to sit here and wait and see what's up with this. You guys let me know if you even think this is a good list. Is this good enough to tie this over until Switch 2? Because you got to remember, if this is the last direct for Nintendo Switch before Switch 2 is announced, is this just enough content for us to be satisfied? You know, you got to satisfy the Zelda fans. You got those Oracle games. You satisfy the Fire Emblem fans. You satisfy the Donkey Kong fans, the Metroid fans a little bit. I feel like there's a decent mix here. Combine that with Thousand Year Door and stuff where maybe Nintendo is just going to kind of float. And you know what? That's okay. Maybe they're not going to announce Switch 2 till the summer. Beats the hell out of me. All I know is this screams we're holding back. I don't know. It's just a rumor. Let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. Not meant to be taken super seriously, but really fun to talk about. We'll catch you guys in the next video.